artificial intelligence technology. We've been talking about it. It's been grabbing headlines mm -hmm. for months now. We told you about everything from chat GPT to deep fake videos and pictures. But what about the ways that AI can actually improve our lives? Yeah, there has to be some good, and that's the goal of a summit at the Ronald Reagan International Trade Building downtown. We sent our Matt Gregory to download some of the information on AI. He is live tonight from the summit floor. And uh, Matt, what are some of the ideas being tossed around there? Hey guys, you know, years ago we would have said this is we're looking at over a sea of computer geeks, but not so anymore. Not computer geeks. These are the people, the technology, and the companies that are behind everything from the processors in your phone to where your data is stored to the future of all sorts of things. Like look over here, if we can come over, you can see just behind the in the Dell Technologies tent, there's an AI image of a woman that's been created. But these are just some of the applications of AI. We wanted to go through today and find out from NVIDIA, the company that is putting this entire AI summit on what this looks like, what AI can do. What we found was that there's applications very applicable here in the DMV to shrinking data centers to mapping climate change and weather. So we followed around Dion Harris. He is one of the vice presidents. He's in head of data centers and accelerated computer programming. Now, if you're not familiar with NVIDIA, it's a technology inside computers they make, platforms and computer chips. So at the summit, the company wanted to showcase what its new accelerated computer platforms and AI chips can do. So when we were talking to Dion Harris, he wanted to, to explain how they can use AI to help with Northern Virginia, like I said, big data questions, and also with weather and climate predictions. Take a listen. Can you kind of give us an idea of how NVIDIA works within the data center space? We created this revolutionary new comp computing model called accelerated computing. So you can basically reduce the amount of energy, you can reduce the amount of space required for that data center, and reduce the overall cost. Or can someone show us sort of Earth 2? Yeah, yeah, so Earth 2 is basically a platform that allows you to visualize simulation data, AI data, um, observed data, all within a single pane of glass. You can have much more informative um, understandings of the impact, especially as you look at some of the, the coastal regions and understanding how how they'll be affected by rising tides or different different flow patterns. We just had a very you know traumatic hurricane come through, another one on its way. Uh, in the future, how do you hope this technology works with those weather events? When you're when you're trying to map a dynamic system yeah. or a chaotic system, the key point is that you have to do lots of simulations to get your your sort of probabilistic distribution. Yeah, yeah. And so without getting too technical, it basically gives you a good understanding of what the long tail events are, what are some of the extreme events that you could expect to occur given a set of conditions. So NVIDIA is a company, right, where you won't actually see their products. It's inside computers. It's inside of the technology. They're the chip and platform company. But we really want to be able to give you a sense of sort of how AI can be used beyond those applications we talked about. What we've really learned, and if you're wondering, what we really want to take away was from Amazon and Oracle, those companies that have those data centers out in Loudoun County and Prince William County, the hope, NVIDIA says, is that their technology will be helped to shrink those, to shrink the environmental and the energy impact that you see because of NVIDIA's fast processing computer chips. At the same time, the computers you just saw our weather team talking about were forecasting models. The hope is that AI will be able to help make those models seem more accurate or get a better idea of what could happen, especially with impacts during hurricane season like now. And that's sort of where they want, uh, NVIDIA does, this entire summit to kind of come across as how AI can be used to help, as opposed to in the past where we've been able to see kind of some of the issues with AI. They wanted to give an idea of the positive impacts of artificial intelligence in the 21st century. But for now, outside the summit, I'm Matt Gregory, back to you. Is it really you, Matt? <laughs> After that, you gotta <laughs> It's not AI, AI <laughs> Matt, right? <laughs> He's not moving. Yeah, he Wait a minute. <laughs> it's Matt Gregory. Listen, this is what happens when oh, yeah, it's definitely Matt Gregory. You can always tell with the hands, yeah, right? Yeah, it's yeah, 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 it's totally. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, yeah. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, Matt. A reminder, not all AI is Appreciate bad you when That's used correctly. That's right. Even the real you is great, Matt. Okay.